44 years ago on Oahu at a place called Kalama Valley. That was the beginning of Hawaiians and local people looking around at the situation in our islands and beginning to question the direction Hawaii was going in and as to whether or not it was really in the best interest of we, the Kanaka Maoli, the first people of this land, the people who got their country stolen. We also, uh, Labor Day 78, we closed the Hilo Airport runway because we were the landlords come to collect the rent. You of the Department of Interior did not collect rent for this airport. Waimea, Molokai, and Hilo Airport. We had to risk our lives on the Hilo Airport runway. 58 of us were arrested. We had three children with us. We kept the children behind because number one, we had to protect them. A half a million dollars a year started coming into the Department of Hawaiian Homelands because we were at the Hilo Airport runway. That was your job, Department of Interior, to collect that rent. I've been an advocate for our land and the people for all of these years. I was also a trustee for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs for 12 years. Secretary of State Kerry, in reference to what Russia did to the Ukraine in Crimea said, it's a land grab. Obama referred to it as Russia attacking a defenseless country. Now what do you think happened to us? Same thing. <laughs> no to all the questions. First, we need an answer to Kamanao Pono's question to the Secretary of State Kerry before we go any further. We in Hawaii don't want to be the dumping ground for the, of the Pacific for the America's military industrial complex that President Eisenhower warned us about. Over 100,000 acres of our seized, ceded lands at Pohakaloa are programmed to be the premier military training facility of the Pacific, destroying our historical, cultural sites and our environment. We want you out of here when that lease is up and you have to clean up your military garbage on your way out. The lease from 1965 was for only one dollar period. That is disgusting. And not only that, but on his way out, Colonel Suido over at Pohakaloa two weeks ago said to the incoming uh, commander. When, you, when you're getting ready to do something and you know it's the right thing to do, drive it like you stole it. When you want okay. to do something and you know it's the right thing to do, drive it like you stole it, he said. Don't let anyone tell you no. How do you like that? Yes, you not only stole Pohakaloa, but all of our islands. But look at the audacity of this com commander. Drive it like you stole it, when you really did steal it. I will admit it. We want an independent study on depleted uranium done of Pohakaloa, called for by our county council in 2008. And what they said was that there should be no live fire training until an independent study of depleted uranium is done. Your depleted uranium is showing up in people's urine with three or four medical doctors here in Hilo. You have been poor stewards of our people, of our land and our people, America. We are not an Indian tribe, though much but much though we have much respect for our brothers and sisters in Indian country. What happened to the billions of dollars you were supposed to be holding in trust for decades for those native tribes? Your record in treatment of native peoples is deplorable. We, the people of Aloha, deserve better. Enough is enough. Mahalo.